Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to day five in Tarkov. In this episode, we will literally just be focusing on doing scav runs. We're not going to be doing PMCs or quests or anything like that at all. We're going to be focusing on doing scav runs in reserve so we can get in there, loot as, loot as much as possible and try to make some money and get an out. Literally, this video is just going to be making money, stuff for the hideout, for the infantry, try and sell a load of stuff and get some good money. That's going to be the focus on today. So if we go into my hideout, I literally need, this is why we need to just do uh, scav runs and literally just try and go in and loot. I need a matchbox. I've written all this down as well, so I don't actually forget when I go into the raid. Need syringe, uh, pile of meds. We need these to actually start construct. So bolts, white tape, hose. Toothpaste. And we need a multi-tool and some more uh, nuts and bolts and nails pretty much i've li I've literally written all this down so i don't actually forget when i'm going into raid so that's seven things we need well multiple uh nails and bolts that's what we need so without further ado let's get straight into reserve all right and here we go right our extractions to cp fence and the hole in the fence by the mountain uh where have i oh i spawned by okay 30 minutes okay we've actually started quite not for about 10 i think it's already been like 10 minutes since the raid started so let's go Need to make sure my guns will fall auto. Ah, oh. hopefully this is going to be a good raid. What have I got? I got a piece of cheese. All right, I need to. I got a lot of ammo though. What have I got in my here? BP as well. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I can't believe I got so much ammunition as well. That's crazy. I never had this much. someone good drill maybe okay we should be a little hat <laughs> wouldn't mind a helmet thought he'd running near me normally drinks here Today. Can't believe we got BPM over this. Unheard of. Is this another gun? SKS, I'll take it. We're literally just going to loop around. There is a box in here. Cover my ass. Um, let's see what bullets we got in this gun. PS ammo. I could actually swap that around. Just making sure it is actually the correct ammo. There's five four five three nine. Yeah, so, making sure that the, the guns are... Uh, can I take that out? Uh, if, I, uh, if I had a big enough bag, I could literally just change this ammo around straight away if I can't. I can't modify, I can't take it out. But what I can do... Is that going to be the same ammo? Yeah. I'm going to save this for the SKS. Come on, load up. Other scavs, other scav players, they actually spawn on this side as well. You've got to be wary of that. 
Well, so do players, but they're always spawned in at the moment. The plan. There's a lot of shooting going on. Gonna be quite a sec. Cool glasses. Don't actually need them, but I'll take them anyway. I can drop them along the way if I don't need them. Or I heard someone to melt with then, it might have been me. I believe this has already been looted. That's not bad. Some meds at least. Actually, I'm going to drop those. Yeah, I have a feeling this place has already been picked clean. The rain doesn't help because it blocks the hearing. It just makes it harder to hear people's footsteps. That actually made me jump. I don't know where that's coming from. I think it's coming from the next building across. No guns? Shame. Hmm.
How many toilets are on this bloody floor? Yeah, we're not going on the roof. Suicide. Again, I'm getting sniped. Stop that. Don't know why I did that in the first place. I was keeping that empty. I do want to keep some of these for the S casing because I need it. Uh. I think scabs are spawning in. Mads. Ah. Ooh. Didn't realize he had a bigger backpack. I should have checked first. Need that for a quest. Uh, that gun. Was my extraction? TP fence. Oh, and the fence by the mountain. He was after me. He knew exactly where I was. Oh, I need that. I can't remember how many I need. Request. No fucker. I should get out. Oh god. Wrong fucking. Uh, this way. Run! I do need those hats for a quest, and I've got three of them now all together. So I might as well get out. I've got some good loot ish. We can make some money out of it. We'll set everything that we've got. I do for like all the really good stuff. You want to go down underneath these buildings into the bunkers. But a good raid. Good raid. Three scav skills as well. I didn't actually get anything <laughs> that was on my list for the hideout. So we'll keep these. Oh, I don't know if I've got bloody space for them now. Yeah, see so there's the other hat. Right, we can sell this ADAR as well. Key, I, th I think we need this key for something. But we can use it anyway. 
There's nothing good. These are quite easy to find. Carter keys. Oh. There's my little med bag. I got another med bag somewhere. No, I don't want to use that one. There it is. Oh, we'll sell that as well. BP, we will keep that. That's good ammo. We keep these magazines as well. I should put them in there. Got it. We can sell that. Uh, that one. Morphine. Sell that. Sell the SKS. It is a good gun, but lack of space at the moment. Um, that's really sucks, actually. That's another thing they try and sort out is that you can't actually put things in here to then move it aside into your infantry. That's really frustrating. So you've got to try and make room for that. Uh, but, 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 but. Ah, there we go. And then you can put it in. So that's really annoying. Right? Hit count. Yeah, I'm going to use. Yeah, well, that's my accuracy for you. Shocking. Good first raid. Right, here we go on the second raid. We've got a pistol, little rig, and a small backpack. Let's uh, try and turn this around. Let's try and get some uh, good loot, get some guns. Let's try and get out with actually some stuff I need for the hideout this time. Right, okay. Where have we got for this one? Okay. All right. Uh, on top of the bunker. Oh, someone pulled the button off already. Make our way around again. How long have I got? 33 minutes. What's my extract? It should be CP fence. Hole in the fence by the mountains. Okay. The ditch where we extracted in the last one. Keep it in case I get a gun for it. But it's shit out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna drop it. So crap ammo. Oh, you see someone in that window? Less than half. Better than nothing. You could do it with an extra magazine. Thing is, I want to go down into the bunkers to get some good stuff, but. These guns ain't gonna last long if I come up against uh, a player scav. That's worth a few coin. Good scope. Oh. Or someone a metal. Could have been me.
I could use this gun. And just fire it. I might die doing it. This is... Put up someone there, then. Thing is, someone set off that alarm, it's obviously going to trigger the radius to come out. I might get sniped from doing this. No, no. Oh no. Do I am I am I gonna get sniped? Am I gonna get sniped? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If I do, I do. Fuck it. Get off it, get off it, get off it. Run, 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 run. I hope I killed someone doing that. I've only ever killed two people once doing that. I hope I did. I hope I ruined someone's day. Problem is, he just gives away your position. No, I don't want to extract. We're going to go into Black Pawn this time. Wait a sec. I need a headset. Everything's so quiet. We go straight upstairs. SMB ammo. Good for a Mosin. Good ammo. See if we can get some more meds. I think I came into Black Pawn last time, didn't I? I need to go into White Pawn. Oh, nice, nice. AFAC. Good grab. Matches. One for the hideout. Come on. Give something good. Another gun? Ooh. Oh. Even better. About half. Down. M62. Getting better.
coming in here. I don't think he is. He might be running to white pawn instead. That was just the scav. Alright, okay. We're gonna go down under. Anyone leave anything in here for me? Give it a bigger backpack. How much time we got left? 34 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, that is a scav. Good thing is, he won't actually shoot me. Because <laughs> I haven't killed any of them yet. Where is he? Oh, he's shooting it from over there. He's shooting that gun from up there. I thought it, he was shooting it from where I was shooting it before. Probably thinking there was more ammo in it, but it wasn't him. Anything else? Oh, nice. Good for hideout. Good for loot. Nice. I can always drop this stuff. Creeping now. What's the CMS get there? CPU's worth a lot. <laughs> People keep setting off the alarm now because they want radios to come out. Which is good for us because it keeps the tension off us. Here creeping. I hear something at least. CPUs we need, um, I don't know if I said already, but we need CPUs for a quest later on. And they can be quite hard to find.
here he comes. That raider. No. Why are they spawning here? You said I wasn't a player, Scav. I thought he was on the same floor as me. Might be the floor above. Here creeping. Might just be me. It would be so much easier if I had a headset on. for the slight interruption. Uh, got bolts, which is good. It might be a bodyguard. Was the boss too small? That's what I'm worried about. It could be a bodyguard. You notice all these lights have been shot out because there have been grenades thrown in here. Am I going around in circles? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am going around in circles, and I. He might be downstairs. What was this? Cigarettes. Yeah. See, I need those for a quest as well. Uh, I'm only fussed about the ammo. 
Where the fuck is this prick? He might be in this room. Ah, shit, this could go bad. I'm hoping this isn't going to be a bodyguard. I can hear him. Another ram. Oh. Saw the red bandage. Want to take the guitar with me? Where is this guy? Hopefully he's got a bigger backpack. 13 minutes. Where is this guy? Literally looting everything in this building. But where is this guy? <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm scared. My... Shot me shorts. Well, I'm not even wearing shorts. Can't believe that. I scared the shit out of myself. Where is this guy? I thought he was on the floor above. Right at the top. No idea. You keep you outside. All in the fence by the mountains. All right, we've got time. I want to stop being greedy. Go down go down under see if there's any dead raiders down there that I can loot a bigger backpack and stuff there should be no one down there now I say that there probably bloody will be and I'll probably die him. I won't kill him. Hey, Bush. I'll kill him with my pistol. Because why not? Head straight down under. This is greed. If I die, it's my own fault. Oh, I need that. Uh, what do I need?
just go. Hopefully I didn't run into any players that are extracting down here. That would suck. clean. No one down here. That's unfortunate. Right, we're going to head out now. I've got time. I see that this is where I'm going to die now. I wouldn't mind if I was at CP fence as an extraction or eating pipe. I could then probably go to the K building to see if there's any of my dead bodies. But because holding the fence by the mountain is literally on the other side of the map, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get to when you've got a rush. Fuck it. Let's extract. We got some good stuff with the, with the space that we've got. We got one IFAC, two AFACs, which is good. Came out with two guns. One AK and one SIG, which is really good. Another good raid. Just unlucky that we didn't get a big backpack. Because that would have been awesome if we had one. Then we could just loot everything that we possibly could. But not bad. Not bad. Right. I need to... Uh... Oh, shit, I can't put it back in. Never mind. Everything that I found... Everything that I want to keep, I'm going to put in here. Nice. This gun I will possibly keep. Got this helmet. Got the body armor. I don't need this now. Do 
The reason I'm keeping these knives is because once you have eight of these, you can trade them in for an MP5. Technically, just free money then. This is good. This was a good find. Two bolts, matchboxes. We can now go into the hideout. Come on. That's good with those matchboxes now. We can now... Eating! Construct! There we go. Woo! Get a bit of warmth. Now what do we need? Extra... There you go. Dry fuel. Need to find three of those. As in hunter matches. Just one of those. I've already got required skill endurance. is level one, which we've already got. So we just got to find matchbox and dry fuel. So we'll find a pile of meds and a syringe. Let's go. We found some more of these. Didn't find a hoso, which kind of sucks. Ah, see. Can I not buy this multi tool? Let's go find a multi tool. So, yeah, if you need the multi tool, I can't be able to wait. You just purchase there for 33,000 33, rubles. And then we can give it a hideout. Oh, wrong one. Get me workbench. Construct. So now, with the workbench, we can start, like, crafting all these if we want to, if we need them. I know we need these T plugs for a quest, so once you get nails and some cord, you can actually craft these. You need about five for a quest. Yeah, every time you sort of level up, level it up. So you, you now we need a drill, tools, or bolts, and some weapon parts. And obviously, I need to get to mechanic level two as well. So that was a good raid, All right, guys? So we're going to crack on with the last scav run of the night, and we're going in with a VPO, I think two oh nine carbine or two oh six carbine, and it's without well, stock. So <laughs> I'm better off with the pistol again. But unfortunately, we're... Ooh. Now, I've done reserve twice. Ooh, where should we go? I'm thinking... Ooh. I thought I'd do a factory run. I'm going to do a factory run. Factory runs are absolutely crazy. But it's just pure madness. It is absolutely crazy. Hopefully, I get a late spawn. And the players have gone. <laughs> so Polly just end up dying. I got an SA. Oh my god. SAS drive. <laughs> Point your gun at me. Ah oh, crap! I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. It was all a joke. I think I hear someone creeping. Hill. I don't know where that like, shot came from. Might have just been a scav.
Did you pick a bag, dude? Don't know why that guy didn't push me. Very weird. I just get out. I got some stuff. Get out. I'm already fucked up. If someone hit me once or twice, I'll be done. I think someone was running up to push me as well. So, better safe than sorry. I got some stuff though. Which I can just sell straight away. <laughs> I was hoping to stay in there a bit longer. I didn't realize I didn't have hardly any time left. I don't know if that was just a... I don't know why he didn't push me. He hit me so hard. I don't know where he hit me from. I think he was up on the railing. Ugh. I can go there. Bang. Nice. Uh, where can I put this? Um, I just put these down here out of the way. Hang on. How much room I got in there? None. There we go. Another successful raid. I was hoping to have some more time in there. But there's no point in me staying in for much longer. I was already wounded. I didn't have a lot of meds. Alright, sell some stuff. Alright. I can go. I can go that can go that can go that can go that can go. That gun can go. Sell the hunter. I took the sight off. Sell that as well. Sell the screwdriver. Uh what else did I get from there? I believe so eight six thousand. Uh, Ragman. Sell the rig, 15k. Keep the hat. Sell the rig, 34,000. So we've hit well over 100k. Well over 100k. Just literally a few minutes. Sell that as well, don't need it. Sell that as well, don't need it. Sell that as well. So we had 83 for the first lot of mechanics for selling the weapons. Selling this, 93,000. Boom, 170k. Literally within a few minutes in factory. And I did want a late start in factory, so it did work out really well for me. So when we started this, uh, started this this evening, we literally just had just under uh, 500, 500k. We're now at 867,000 rubles, which is pretty good going after three raids.
Right, guys, that's it for this episode, day five in Tarkov. I really enjoyed making this episode. It wasn't as intense as doing PMC for quests, because that obviously is a lot more intense. But with scavs, not so much, because you've got nothing to lose. Unfortunately, the first two times, I didn't really have the backpacks to be carrying a lot of loot, and I didn't really find many dead bodies. Um, possibly I didn't really go to the right locations, but I was literally just going in, looting, trying to get some money and getting out. And that's what I've done. You know, I've survived three raids doing it that way. I've killed a few scavs, uh, which is good. It up levels my scav. But I did get some really good loot. I didn't get a lot as much loot as I wanted for my hideout. But that's fine. We've made a good amount of money. And cannot wait to do more of these videos with the scav runs. Because they were really good fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Stay safe.